Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo 64 and Nintendo Switch emulation. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about N64 emulation with RT64. RT64 was created by Dario, a modder turned software developer. And I would argue that this news is absolutely huge. Dario states, I'd like to reveal that RT64, the path tracer behind SM64 RT, is evolving into an N64 emulator plugin. So RT64 is a plugin that will support ray trace lighting, object motion blur, widescreen, DLSS, and 60 plus frames per second. This is massive. Now Dario goes on to state they started this project about a month ago and realized it has pretty huge potential. On top of that, they tested this out in Mupin 64 Plus. It's also worth pointing out that RT64 is still pretty early on in development and it's going to be a while before it's officially released to the public. At this point in time, it's an extremely manual process to get everything working correctly. As a huge bonus, this project will be open source. On top of that, it should go without saying if you want to take advantage of the ray tracing capabilities, you will need ray tracing hardware. If you don't, you can take advantage of the other capabilities, just not the ray tracing stuff. With that being said, I have no idea when it's going to officially release, but I will be paying attention to this one and I will update you as soon as I find out more information. Next up here, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline. Yes, Skyline has got even better. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is booting, and booting very well. You can get into the menu system, you can select a save file, and you can try to load it. You can't play the game just yet, but this is incredibly promising. Project Diva is rendering and running a heck of a lot better. Link's Awakening is bootable and playable. The graphics are still completely broken, and I would argue that playable is completely subjective, considering the graphics are a little bit messed up here, but it is booting. Super Mario Odyssey is rendering better, and yes, it still has that weird language glitch. If you select a different language, you might get better rendering result. Implosion is now playable, and Resident Evil 4 is now in game. And yes, Skyline can now officially run Crisis. Kind of, it does eventually crash. Last up here, we're talking about a brand new emulator for the Wonder Swan called Stoic Goose. I absolutely love that name. This emulator is new, it's available on PC, and if you're a fan of the Wonder Swan, you might want to check this one out. Now, Stoic Goose is still pretty early on in development, so if you download this and have a few bugs or issues, don't worry about it too much just yet. I'm assuming anything that doesn't work necessarily correctly will be ironed out fairly shortly. Overall though, this emulator looks really promising. Stoic Goose is on GitHub, it's 100% free, and I'll drop a link in the description below. It has been in development since mid-2021 and has just been officially released. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. Whether it's N64, Nintendo Switch, or Wonderswan, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.